When setting up a project for embroidery, it's important to simplify things a lot. Here, this design has a single layer that has a fill. It's okay if it is a compound path. I made a copy of the layer and I swapped the fill with a stroke so one layer is just fill and the other one is just stroke. If you're missing your color swatches, just go to the hamburger and the swatches panel and select a new color group there. Also, you may want to offset your stroke to the outside of your design so it doesn't overlap the fill. Remember, embroidery will pile up threads so you may need to do this. Now, save as an SVG file. Load your fabric and backing into an embroidery hoop that is larger than your design. Go to the computer on the embroidery machine. Open Inkscape, then open your SVG file. You can also download Inkscape to your own computer. It's free. I'll put a link in the description for the extension you'll need and the program. Change your document size to be a little smaller than your hoop size by going to File, Document Properties, then change the units to inches. Change your document to around the size of the hoop. Close and now go to Layer, Layers and Objects, then select both layers. One is your stroke and the other is your fill. Scale them up using the buttons along the top ribbon or by clicking and dragging. Select the fill only and go to Extensions, Params, and it should open two new windows. One sets the controls for the fill. We set ours to Circular Fill which looks really cool. The other window shows you what it will look like. Then click Apply and Quit in the lower right if you like what you see. Select the stroke layer and set your params for that. Apply those and close the window. Now go to File, Save as a Copy, and choose the .pes format. Use a jump drive and bring that file over to the BabyLock embroidery machine. I found that it's easiest to load the embroidery hoop first, turn the machine off, then back on again. It will scan the hoop size. Make sure the set screw is tightened because it sometimes creates errors out here. Locate your drive, then your file, and click it. Now click Set in the lower right. You can further adjust the size here, but if you need big adjustments, just go and do that in Inkscape. Go back. Tap the Embroidery button in the lower right corner. Now you can assign the spools. To swap a spool, Click the layer, then click the two spools icon, then select the spools to swap. Click the two spools icon again, then click OK. Select your stroke, then repeat. Two spools icon, spools to swap, OK. Then you're ready to embroider. Lastly, hit the big play button.